I've had 22 months of town hall meetings with people bringing their documents and the, the, the transcripts of voicemails and of emails from um, servicers telling them that what they're doing is okay, that they're in compliance with the law, and then they find out that they've been hit by a penalty of some kind or another, Mr. Chairman. There was an article in Sunday's Denver Post that I'd asked to be included in the record, and I won't go through the two stories, but one of the people that were affected by all this sort of through the looking glass business, uh, Wendy Deers, she said, we did everything we were supposed to do. This is such a boondoggle of a mess, she described it. And it is a boondoggle of a mess, and I think there's some fat, and the thing that I can't understand is where the misalignment of interest is here, because we have millions of people in this country that are underwater in their mortgages, right? We know that. Um, I, for one, don't believe that it's possible to prop up the value of all of these houses. That's impossible, and that it would be foolish public policy to do that. But it seems is clearly in the interest of people that can pay on their loans at a reduced value and who want to stay in their home it's clearly in their interest to do that, right? For investors in these securities, it would seem to me that it's clearly in their interest to have the homeowner be able to do that because the value of the modified mortgage is worth more than the foreclosure, the proceeds from a foreclosure sale would be. It would seem to me, I, and I could be wrong, any of this that you want to correct, please correct. The third piece is that it is clearly in the interest of the adjacent homeowners that that loan be modified and that that person remain in their house because if they don't, the value of their house is just going to go down. And that can be repeated over and over and over again until the neighborhood is actually the entire United States of America, not just one place or a state that's been particularly hard hit but the entire economic recovery in many respects rests on our being able to get this sorted out. That's a self-interest that, that, that would seem to be present. So the question I have is, and we've had this hearing and other hearings, and here I am at the end still completely unclear where the misalignment is. Why can't we get these, the, all of this self-interest aligned in a way that will allow us to proceed expeditiously so that, not just so that my constituents can get on with their lives, which they desperately want to do, but so that we can get this economy moving again. 